Hello, this is a locked on place. One of the more annoying things about Elder Scrolls Online is the accumulation and difficulty in dealing with the inventory of your treasure maps and your crafting surveys. So this video I might split into two, but these videos are a few tips and tricks on how to deal with treasure maps and surveys. Before I go any further, I want to say that much of what I say here is going to be in the description of this video, so please check the text. What you're looking for might be there and you won't have to watch the video, you can just read it right away. Believe it or not, the first thing that you need to think about when dealing with surveys and treasure maps is your CP. And I'm going to talk about the armory station here in a second, because in your champion points, there are a couple of points which make a survey or surveys much easier. That's the Master Gatherer CP point and the Plentiful Harvest CP point. And then for treasure maps, it's Homemaker and Treasure Hunter. I'll talk about why those are important later, but if you're low CP, you can't just swap things out like I can because I have an obscene number of CP. We won't talk about that. And I can just set, you know, I can just switch from one CP to another. When you're low CP, you can't do that. You have to actually pay. So instead of doing that, what you want to do is use your armory slots. Any basic tune will have two slots. So set your CP in in, in armory, have a build called like resource farming or, or something like that, and set that here. You can also use the steed Mundus, which I don't think I have right now. This is a really low tune, yeah, to make uh, running between your surveys faster. All of that gets saved in your armory. So if you have a low level, so there are two major ways of dealing with treasure maps. Most people who are overwhelmed with their treasure maps have them scattered over multiple tunes. You might have them in all the different uh, chests that you have in your house. If you've gotten that far, they're just scattered everywhere. And then having to gather them all up and find find them in order to go out in the field and dig them up is a real hassle. There are two ways to, to deal with that. The first one is to mail them to a friend and have them returned. I'll talk about that in more detail in a bit. The second one is to put them up for sale on a guild in a guild store and then take them back down. That has some special pr provisions and I'll talk about that next. If you are in a guild that has more than 10 or 15 people, you have access to a guild store. I don't mean the guild traders that you buy things at in like the guild or in the, the capital cities and places like that. Every guild comes with a guild store. So you talk to any banker and it's the third thing down here, a guild store. This is a small guild uh, that I have that does not have an active guild tr trader. You can see there are only 20 or 30 things for, for sale here, and they're all uh, pretty uh, slow to sell because people simply don't know things are here. But you can put things for sale up in these stores. And I'm just going to put everything for sale for one gold because as you increase the amount you sell things for, of course, there's more of a listing fee. And if it actually sold, the house w would take some of that too. But let's just put things up for one gold. So now if you go under listings, you can see I have these four things here. And you can see that I cannot remove them right now. I don't know if this is a timing thing or if you just have to get off this page and go back. But now you can see that I can remove these things from the guild store. And now they're in your mail. And you can pull them out when you're out in the field digging up your treasure chest. And I'll talk about that here in a bit. You want to find someone you trust in the guild. Um, me and five or six of my friends do this w with each other all the time. It's a great way to store things or if you're in a place like Cyrodiil or the Imperial City where you can't pull out a banker and you just need to get or uh, pass something off and they'll send it back to you so you can deal with it once you're back at a banker. You just send them, you just send it send the stuff to them 
uh, and we'll just uh, put a return to me uh, in the sub in the subject and then send them the maps um, you can't uh, stack maps like you can't put two clockwork city one maps in the same mail just like you can't have them in your inventory at the same time dumbest thing ever but send those and then when Hare gets them he will just in his email he'll say see the return please it's just a quick button press to say return to sender and he will and then once he once I get them back um, I can just pull out the maps as I need them and I'll demonstrate that once he actually gets online and sends them back so my friend Hare got online and returned all of my maps Thank you very much here so I have all of these maps here well four of them um, but that's 24 maps 8 16 20 24 maps that I now have out of my in inventory and somewhere else so if you hit R3 for view attachments you can see what you have in here and um, you unfortunately can't take one thing out at a time but if your inventory is already full of maps um, it will leave that one's already done. Uh, you, you see that uh, the Clockwork City 2 map it w was left in the mail because I already had one of those in my in inventory. So if I go here and I take all of those, again, there was a Clockwork City 2 map left in there. Now I'm at the site of the Grotwood 2 uh, treasure map. I'm just north of this world boss. So under normal circumstances, you'd have to dig it up, go back to your house or whatever, get another copy, come back, dig it up, etc. But now I have everything I need in my mail. I just hit R3, I think, in order to, to see what I had in this mail. I have a Grotwood 2, so I'll take all those. I also have a Grotwood 2 up there. So uh, the map is gone. I will run away to reset the draw. I talk about that a little bit more in the alchemy section. I think that's far enough away. I haven't done this one in a while, so I don't remember what the draw distance is here. There. There it is again. I can dig it up. There it is again. So using a combination of sending mail to friends and have them return to sender and or putting them up on a guild trader, you can make your inventory management a lot easier with treasure maps. Two main things to remember. Things only stay in your mail for a month. Well, 30 days. So I would only do like, like maybe the maps for Alakir, Ardon, Benkari, Blackwood, you know, do, do them in alphabetical order. Um, only do a little bit of them at a time. Uh, also, the other the thing to worry about is if you're uh, sending them to a friend, uh, return to sender, don't make your friends angry. Don't abuse the, the privilege. But that um, is one way to deal with the inventory with uh, issue with maps. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this or at least found it useful. Please don't like or subscribe. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't make enough content for that to be useful. What I do find very useful is when people give me a thumbs up or say in a comment that they found this content useful, especially a year or two after I make it, because then I know it's actually helping people. I hope you have a great day, and thanks again.